hello guys welcome back to the channel uh, this is cambridge igcsc uh, paper 3 uh, from uh, feb march 2025 series okay so the first question that we have here taj is 3 and uh, by 1 by 4 years old work out her age in months so 3 years first of all we will convert 3 years 3 times 12 which is 36 months right and then 1 by 4 of year means 1 by 4 of 12 that is 3 so total is 39 so this is 39 months right now dive uh, div has dollar 25 to buy some cups uh, which cost 4.25 each calculate the maximum number of cups he can buy and uh, he changes uh, the change he receives so first of all we will divide this 25 by 4.525 so as this is a calculator paper you can easily use calculator uh, so here uh, we got uh, when you divide this uh, is uh, coming uh, let me check 5 point something so 25 divided by 4.25 so this is this comes out to be 5.88 so the whole is 5 so number of cups he buys is 5 so this is first part now the second part is how uh, and the change that he receives so he has tw given 25 dollars so 4.25 is the cost of one cup and then times 5 so this is 21.75 and the change that uh, he gets is uh, 25 minus 21.75 so this is 3.75 so 3.75 dollar change that uh, Dave is going to receive right now number three uh, we measure angle A so start from here put your protractor at uh, this point the middle point here when you measure this this comes out to be approximately uh, 40 I'm getting here 40 degrees so your answer may be different because this is a scan, scanned copy then I measured on this one. So maybe your answer has be nearby uh, to this. Find write down the mathematical name as this angle is less than 90. So this angle is an acute angle right. Now number 4 from the list write down the number that is multiple of 13. So multiple of 13 we can say that multiple of 13 are 13. Uh, 13 times 2 is 6, 13 times 3 is 39. So, we have 39 in the list. We will put 39 over here. Uh, factors of 140. So, factor of 140 is uh, uh, 30. Uh, you can check by dividing 140 by 30, uh, 31, 32. So, when we divide it by 35, 35 times 4 gives you 140. So, 35 will be the factor of 140. The largest prime number here if you see here we will start from here 39 it is not a prime this is not a prime we have here 37 is the largest prime number divisible by an even cube number so even cube number so cube number even uh, first number is 2 2 cube which is 8 then 3 cube which is 9 uh, then 4 cube is 16. So, even cube numbers are 8 and 16. So, they are divisible by number 8 by uh, we have 32 which is divisible by 8. So, we can write down here 32 right. Now, next one is 20 percent of 190 20 over 100 times 190 this is 38. So remember all these your answers should come in this list which is given to you here right. Now number 5 a farmer plants tea trees each day in one day tea trees are planted write an expression for that he plots in t days so d days so d days and times t so it is dt or td. Uh, a passenger has p uh, a train has uh, p passengers x passengers, passengers get off so p is there so x get off minus x and then y passengers get on so how many climb up there uh, plus y so this is p minus x plus y 
Now number 6 Raj thinks of a negative number n, he adds 10 to n and then multiply by 5 answer is 30. So he thinks of a number n adds 10 and then multiply this by 5 and the answer is 30 right. So we can simplify now divide both sides this is 30 sorry. So divide both sides by 5. So we got here n plus 10 equals to 6 and n is 6 minus 10 that is negative 4. So we got negative answer here right. Number 7 the diagram shows a straight line crossing a pair of parallel lines here complete these statements angle A and angle dash are corresponding. So corresponding angles are the angles that form F shape right like this angle and this angle. So we are looking for angle A angle A is here a F shape is going to be like this. So then we have this here. So uh, angle A and angle G are corresponding angles. So now angle A and angle E are, so angle A, where is A, A is here, this angle and uh, this angle E. So they form a Z shape like this, so they are on uh, either side of this uh, uh, lines, parallel lines. So these angles are called alternate angles. So we will write down here alternate angle. Okay. Now number 8. Uh, these are first four terms of the sequence. Write down the term to term rule for continuing this sequence. As you see this number is numbers are decreasing. So this is minus 7, minus 7, so minus 7. So we are subtracting 7, so it is uh, minus 7. Find down the next two terms in this sequence. So 10 minus 7 is 3 and then 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So next terms are 3 and negative 4. Find the nth term. So, we know the formula of nth term is um, a plus n minus 1 into t. So, a is the first term which is 31 and n minus 1 into d, d is negative 7. So, negative 7 will be multiplied inside. So, negative 7n plus 7. So, 37 um, thirty seven plus one it is thirty eight. Am I doing something wrong here? Let me check. Minus seven minus seven. A is thirty one and minus one D is negative seven. So when you multiply negative seven, negative, negative, positive. So this is thirty eight. Thirty eight minus seven N. Right? Now number 9, a cuboid me measures 3 uh, centimeter by 7 and by 11. So calculate the surface area. So surface area is going to be 2 times length times width plus width times height, height times length, right. So this is 2 into 3 times 7 plus 7 times 11 plus 11 times 3. So this is 2 into 21 plus 77 plus 33. So, 2 into 131 which is 262, 262 centimeter squares. Number 10, a table shows an ordered stem and leaf diagram. Uh, A, B, C are missing. So, you can see number A, B, C. And so, we are given some conditions here. Work out the value of A, B and C. So, if you see this is a di quite different question. Uh, uh, than the previous questions here. So, we have here the table shows an ordered stem and leaf diagram. So, we have 0, 2 and A. So, first of all we have the range is 27. So, the range is 27. So, range is maximum value minus minimum value which is equal to 27. So, maximum here is C. C is going to be like C I would say C minus minimum is 2. So, this is the minimum here 2. So, this is 27. So, C is 27 plus 2 that is 29. So, if you see this C, this is not only C that means 2C. 
so this is uh, like this right so this is c c is going to be now 9 so because 2 is already there so we got c as 9 so value of c is 9 right uh, then we will see uh, next condition second one is median is 16 so we are given median is 16 so median is the middle number right so middle number if we see we have here so median number is uh, we have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so nine, uh, fifth and sixth value so 1 2 3 4 this is fifth and sixth value so we will have here b plus 17 over 2 is equal to 16 so then again b is going to be 16 times 2 is 32 so b is 32 minus 17 b is 15 right so one is already there we are looking for the second digit so second digit is b which is 5 so go, we got b as 5 so b is 5 over here then we have the third condition third one is mean is uh, 60.5 uh, so we will add all these numbers now so we have here 2 plus a a we got uh, a we are looking for actually So, I will write down here A, then plus 11, 13, plus 15, 17, plus 20, 24, 26, and 29 divided by they all are 10, and this is equal to um, this is equal to 16.5, right? So, this is 16.5. So, now this is A plus. Uh, so this comes out to be 137 over 10 16.5 so this will be 165 times 16.5 times 10 six, uh, is uh, uh, 165 minus 137 so this gives out to be 28 so a we got here as 8. Okay. now com comment, uh, complete this statement there is no mode because all the values are repeated because uh, you can see sorry none of the values is repeated so we can say all values are different so let me explain it to you again so we have here question number uh, uh, like 10 the range is 27 so range is maximum value minus minimum so this is uh, c minus 2 that is going to be uh, c minus 2 that is 27 so we got here as 9 so then we'll go one by one with the other values then you will get the uh, answer now number 11 the scale drawing shows the position of two lighthouses uh, p and q find the actual distance between pq so join this line pq with ruler and then you ma measure how much is this so i'm getting this one 9.5 centimeter so scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.8 so 9.5 times 0 0.8 that will be the kilometers so this comes out to be 7.6 kilometers measure the bearing of q from p of q from p so you go here where it is written from p so go at point p and then you measure this angle this is the line of q so this angle is coming out 102 degrees so we will write down here 102 degrees so now this one here 
uh, a boat B is on bearing of 127 from P. Calculate the bearing of P from B. Now we are looking from B. So at bearing of 127. So now we have a point B which is at angle of 127 from here, right? So let's say this is point B. This is 127. This total angle. Uh, so then we are looking for this bearing. We will now uh, draw a perpendicular line here we are looking for uh, this angle here right so if this is 27 so this angle is 180 minus 27 180 minus 127 so this is 53 so once we got 53 then we will subtract it from 360 so we got 307 so this angle is 307 as you see this this angle we got 53 so this outer angle is going to be 307 which we are coming uh, subtracting from 360 right so that's it for this video guys remaining question we will do in the next video thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next video be blessed guys